Hello everyone, welcome to iExamV. Today we have Nikhil with us. He has recently cleared SEBI Grade A Legal Officer exam. Congratulations Nikhil from the entire iExamV team. And thank you so much for taking out time to share your story with the other aspirants. Uh, Nikhil, can you introduce yourself? Can you tell a little bit how you get to know about SEBI? Yes, ma'am. First of all, thank you so much, ma'am, for introducing me. Uh, second, ma'am, should I tell about SEBI or my introduction? Anything. Both the things okay, one so by one. I... Okay, so first of all, if I may give a, uh, may give a brief about my legal background. I graduated in 2017 and after that I've been working in litigation uh, for the past four years and along with that I was preparing for judicial services exam and during that time this notification of SEBI uh, came in I think in January. I saw the job profile and it seemed quite interesting so I filled the form and the rest is <laughs> I appeared for and cleared for his phase one, two and now thankfully I cleared the interview also. Okay. So, uh, how you prepared for this exam? What all sources did you use? For the legal, I preferred batch only. And apart from that, for subjects, there were a note from the legal services exam that I had been preparing for quite, quite some time. So, I preferred them also. Okay. But mostly batch. Okay, and, for, and mostly uh, in judiciary exams, there are procedural laws. And substantive laws. Yes, ma'am. How you yes, studied company and securities law? They are very important for SEBI exam. Yes, ma'am. For that, ma'am, I would prefer my college classes and uh, the work that I did during my college days, the internships and all. So they were quite handy to me because the work profile during my internship was related, was related to uh, SEBI and securities acts and company law, company law only. So that was that guided me through. Okay, and what about uh, the phase two, the descriptive English part? For descriptive English, ma'am, uh, for instance, I used to read newspaper, uh, take some notes on them, and apart from them, just uh, some normal books for general studies and all. Keep myself up to date, current affairs, normal, not uh, not not very in depth, but just normal studies. And after that, I practice on my typing skills. And I tried to give as many as many marks as I could, okay. so that I could uh, finish that within one hour. Okay. Because timing and is an issue for me. Timing was an issue for me, and I tried to counter that only. Right. And how was your mock interview and your actual interview? Oh, ma'am, mock interview was an eye opener for me. If I if I'm being completely honest with you, uh, I got to know a lot during my mock interview. Help me improve my skills, my vocab, and all those things. Uh, the actual interview went quite good, also. Very similar questions were already also there from the mock interview. Uh, all in all, my experience was really, really, really good. Okay, uh, can you tell, give a list of sources for GA which you used so that other aspirants can also follow that? For general, oh, for general awareness. For what general you... awareness. Yes. Ma'am, mostly I relied on newspapers. Apart from that, apart from that, there are weekly current affairs also, also available on my exam B's website also. And there are various other sources from internet. And I mostly relied on economics current affairs, current affairs relating to economic developments. Okay, okay. Uh, Nikhil, any other key points you observed? Any things you, uh, a, an aspirant should keep in mind while preparing for this exam? Ma'am, for legal, I would say that people should rely on barracks because most of the questions are asked directly from the barracks. The difficulty level is not that much. Uh, around 40 to 45 questions are quite relevant to the subject of five, five to seven questions might be there that that would uh, that were really really difficult. But most of them could be solved easily with the help of barracks. And apart from that, if somebody if someone wants, he can prepare his own books with them. But source books should relate to the uh, barracks because the language and the 
provisos and all those things they are uh, covered by comprehensively in the bill right uh, nikhil any other do's and that's don'ts? what i did now okay any other do's and don'ts which you other sh- which anyone should think from oh, him for one would be uh, don't get swayed away by the syllabus it's not that tough that it look uh, what it looks like companies act companies act igc securities laws they could be you know <laughs> they could create anxiety in anybody's mind but once you get to know them just be consistent with your approach and that would be fine and what did you use for practice for the legal part oh ma'am i tried to give mock as well i mostly relied on the mock test i used to read one subject and then i then i gave mock test for for the particular subject and after i was done with my entire syllabus i gave the full course full course mock tests uh, in your course yes ma'am okay uh, so uh, by mock test i understand you are referring to chapter test of all the acts yes ma'am initially the chapter test yes yes initially the chapter test and once the syllabus was complete from my side then i gave the full test okay full subject mock test okay so uh, how were these questions how were these tests helpful ma'am the test really helped a lot it uh, it helped me gauge my preparation uh, about where do i stand at, the, uh, at any relevant point of time uh, for instance my target was to score around 60 to 70 in every mock test so initially i was scoring uh, quite less but later on i improved and with the help, and the mock test really guided me through the to the entire course what would my what were my weak points and where i was very strong and all those things. okay and were you there in the classes as well so were you attending oh yes ma'am So, yes uh, how uh, can you uh, guide this aspirants how to make the best use of classes ma'am mostly if someone could make the notes out of the classrooms that would be fine if not that then keep a direct handy with you uh, write down the notes in the back only whatever is missing or whatever is being taught in the classroom just note that in the direct and at the end of the day you can either compile your notes with the directs or if you have made if you have made notes in the barrack only then refer that barrack that's that's what i did man because i did not uh, refer to any reference book outside outside the syllabus outside what what was been ta- uh, taught to us or any other book for that matter okay so as i have been suggesting everyone that whatever i exam is providing apart from that only refer to your barracks and that is more than enough and i think you are mentioning that that is enough that helped you enoughly for your preparation yes ma'am for me that would be it okay okay because whatever it. extra is there is already being taught in the classroom so no no one has to refer to any outside source for that unless somebody is preparing for by himself okay uh, okay nikhil that was really insightful uh, thank you so much for taking out your time and congratulations once again congratulations thank you thank you so much ma'am.